Morning, how you doing? Good. Good. So this is cool, huh? Oh, radio flyer car. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I, we go to garage sales, rummage sales, and estate sales, and we look for undervalued items to look for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Just got to this garage sale, so let's see what we can find today. Sorry guys, we have so many boxes to unload. No worries. So much. Oh, yeah, of course. Alright. John, we don't have your own. Well, I can. My older man. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I don't have everything out. That's alright. Okay. Thank you. Okay, one X. Okay, one X. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Here, I don't know if you do villages, but there's bricks and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I have these. Thank you. Like this one. Maybe they're dead. They're stained. There's a, uh, a clipboard for our cards. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Gotta be careful with them. Early 70s. That's cool. My mom and I did ceramics. Aww. That's cool. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Figurines you have? Five. Or you, I have four, you have one. Five little figurines. Okay, 125. Stocking. 150, and let's say a dollar, so 250. Okay, perfect. Probably not two. Yeah. Here, Thanks. Okay. Behind the little figurines? Yeah. Let's see. Brittany was born in 89. So probably 88 or 89. There was a gas station yeah. that, um, I don't know if it was Thank Sitco you. or something, huh? that Aww. were selling those as little things. Cool. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you so Have much. Nice Have a good day. You too. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hey.
Morning. Cool. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to get it? I think so. Okay. No books for you? No. All right, if you want it, we'll get it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mosquitoes. Right. We'll do the Tweety Bird there. Oh, okay. What do we have? Oh, five. Five dollars, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got it unplugged in. Yeah. It's, it's, um... Just a certificate, I think. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Yeah. Oh, $5. Let me get you change. Steve, do you have change for 20 There you go. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Run down. Hey, good morning. Good. How are you doing? Doing good. Because it's going to rain, and it's supposed think... to 10%. 10%, so. right? 90% yeah. it's not going to rain. Well, hopefully not. I it know, right? It shouldn't. Yeah, well, you guys doing good? So many ornaments, right? I know. <laughs> I got a big. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you get? Yeah. Oh, tiny one. Nativity. That's cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, and you got a little office. It's cute. Okay. A dollar. Okay. Is that good? Sure. Thanks. I said I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no problem. You. My Have first dollar. That's it. Uh, you got it. Have, Have a great day. day. So before we left this neighborhood garage sale, we decided to go back to the first sale that we were at because when we first got there, they were still bringing stuff out. And it was a good thing we did because we found some really awesome stuff the second time around. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank sir. you. You're welcome. Thank you. You know what? If I'm and killing that's the you, customer, the customer's all right. If I'm you know what? You, I didn't be... see the sign, the Burger King sign, but you uh, okay, what we got? Some yeah. stuff. Oh, Some okay. games in here. He said this doesn't work, but. There's a bunch of games, so it's only five dollars. Good job. So you can mess around with it. Oh. So I 
So you're lucky I always shop. There's always something I like. I know, that's why I don't want to look. I know. But it's good to replace I know, but I replace things and then I like you can't give it out to the next one. Yeah. Copy right now. Anything you like? Just looking at these. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spells Christmas. It doesn't look like enough letters in here. No? Okay. Not sure. I'm trying to figure out uh, if I want to call it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Go ahead and help her. Thank you. Is $4 for the cash? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You Thank you. Morning. Hello. Morning. What are the books? How much are your books? Um, there should be a sign on that refrigerator. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Three dollars. Mm, oh, it's an external speaker. You can, um, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys, so today was a great day. We went to a couple of community garage sales it today. So good. It was so good. So the first sale that we went to, they were still bringing stuff out of the garage. We were there like right when they opened, and what'd you find? Well, the first thing I saw was a Lego advent calendar, you yeah. know, like a, a Christmas thing, in a box in the garage that they were just about to pull out. So I grabbed that, yep. handed it to you, because I, I didn't know if it was new or not, right. um, and then you took the time to look at it. Yeah. It wasn't new, unfortunately. It wasn't new. Well, when I looked inside the box, you guys saw in the video, was, there was the pieces were in there, but they were built. And when I asked the seller about it, she said that she had put it all together, but she just took apart a couple of pieces to fit it back in the box. Okay. So I asked her if all the pieces were there and she said yes because she put it together but then broke it up into pieces to put in the box. So hopefully all the pieces are there. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. You know how it goes with Legos. <laughs> and then while Travis was looking through the Lego box, I started digging through another box that they brought out and I found this. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know what it was when I showed you? I knew it was a cast iron skillet but I didn't know well, yeah, who made the cast iron skillet. On the back can you see where it says Griswold? Yes, I can see it. <laughs> I know you can. I mean that. <laughs> I know. Anyways, I have wanted to find a Griswold skillet for Forever. so long. It's been on my bolo list. I know, so. we always see like Lodge. Yeah. Or you just like. It's like the regular brand. Yeah, regular brands. Yeah. But I've never found a Griswold skillet before. Finally found it. Check that one off your bolo list. So cool. I was so excited when I saw it. Condition's good and it was only $5. It was a great price. Yes. So of course we scooped this up. Right. So unfortunately, this one did not come with a lid. Right. That's going to add some value. Yeah, the lid's always add lid. value for yeah. sure. Um, and it's a number eight skillet, so it's one of the more common sizes. Right. The ones that are seem to be worth more are the smaller skillets and the bigger skillets. Gotcha. So like number two and four, 13, 14. Okay. I think most people would buy like, you know, a regular size skillet. Right. So these are easier to find, even though I've never found them before. So. Exactly, right. <laughs> still, I still feel like it's rare. Yeah. Common or non-common, we still don't find them, even if they are not are common. Right. Yeah. And then also, I, you can see on the logo, ours is a smaller size logo. Right. And the word Griswold is 
um, straight up and down. It's not slanted. Right. So if you see the bigger logos, bigger logo, or where Griswold is slanted, it's more it's like written. in cursive when it's yeah. slanted. Yes. Those, Those are that means more more value. Yes. Yeah. Also, side note, keep a lookout for the Griswold loaf pan. It's a cast iron loaf pan. It has a handle on one side. Okay. That's a huge bolo. Like huge bolo, like how much huge bolo? Probably between five and six hundred dollars. Okay, keep a lookout for that one. Yeah. Yeah. And if you find just the lids by themselves, that's always a good pickup too, because collectors always want lids. Yeah, cool. obviously we found one without a lid. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So we got the cast iron skillet and the Lego set. They were still bringing stuff out of the garage, but we were, you know how it is in the morning. It's just like, do we go to the next sale? Or do we, we wait? Yeah. You know, so we were battling with that. So it was a community sale. So we decided, you know what, let's just leave and we'll come back to the sale before we leave the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. So the next sale that we went to, I saw it right when we were walking up the driveway. It was glowing. It was, it was glowing. calling to you. <laughs> it was lit up. <laughs> it was this plas big plastic Tweety Bird, like blow mold yeah. kind of, kind of like decoration. A, it was like a blow mold type material. It but like, it was flat on the back. Right. So you could like hang it on the wall. You could hang it on the wall. It's yeah. like, it was like a hard plastic, yeah. but yeah. It was like, cool. It was really cool. I never seen anything like that before. Yeah. Great shape. It wasn't chipped. Yeah. There was no damage nope. to it. Paint was so, good. And it came with a certificate of authenticity. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is really cool. It's $5. Get yes, it. please. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked up that. So that was an awesome find. Yeah. So we went to a few more garage sales in that neighborhood, didn't really find anything, so we went back to that first sale, and it's a good thing that we did because we found some amazing stuff. So the first thing I noticed when I went back to that garage sale was they had this Jawbone speaker, which I've never heard of the brand Jawbone before. Me I would have walked right by it. I, but it was in really good condition, <laughs> and it had the manual, so uh -huh. I was like, okay, this could be cool, I wanted $5 for it great price. I was like, hopefully it works. So I kind of left it on the table, which is not a good strategy. If you're interested in something, pick it up and hold it. But so I left it on the table and then I found some shoes on the ground, which were these Doc Martens, still brand new. So they were $10. I was like, yes, definitely going to get these. So that was a good value. So Doc Martens are a great brand to look out for. So if you guys do see some of those even used, those yeah. can sell for a good amount yeah, of money. Definitely. So picked up those. I paid for those first. And then as I was leaving, I was like, let me go back and check that Jawbone wireless speaker. So I picked it up. The lady was really nice. She let me plug it in mm. and I connected it and everything worked great. So I picked it up for $5 too. So amazing scores when we went back a second time. So we left that sale and then we headed to the next community sale and we split up. You yes. went to one sale, I went to another. You should have gone to the one that I yeah, went to. We should have flip-flopped. Yeah, but I walked up to the sale and I saw a, a box on the table, a bag, I guess, a zipper bag, and it said like some GPS brand on the top. Yeah, and I opened it up, and it was, pro it was probably why it was still there because it was closed and people just didn't take the time to open it up. Yeah. But I opened it up, and there was some kind of game system inside. Yes. Like a little handheld one. PSP. Yes. With some games and a little thing. Right. And I was talking to the to the seller, and he's like, "Oh yeah, it doesn't work. the The system's broken. We tried to replace the battery. It's broke." I'm like. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's five dollars. So maybe try with someone the game. Yeah. So I. Just, well, didn't the guy tell you that the games are probably worth it or something? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um. So I grabbed it for five dollars and I brought it over to you. Yes. And you were you were excited. I was pumped I was about like, it. Okay. Yeah. You walked over. Like, you're like up. handing me a gift and I said Magellan's like okay cool GPS and when I opened it up it was the PSP with all the games he had a decent amount of games I think there's like eight games in it mm -hmm. so I think you know let alone five dollars the games would have would have been enough but he was but he was right the battery that they had was broken but I was like well maybe it's just the battery so I bought a new battery and put it in the in the PSP works fine works great. So, you know, I'm going to combine that all together and sell it that way. So great pickup for $5. Thanks. Look at you getting some game stuff. Killing it. So the next day we went to looked really busy. Right when we pulled up, everyone, there's a whole bunch of people there. People are dragging out furniture. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, did we miss some good stuff here? Yeah. And so he had a lot of like larger items, some bulkier items, some furniture, some different things. But you found these really cool trees. <laughs> Aren't these so cute? They're really cool. <laughs> when you were looking at them, I was like, well, what are these things? They're just like little vintage trees on blocks and they say, you know, they spell out Christmas. But yes. the way that they had them in the container, you couldn't really tell what they spelled out. And I wasn't sure if it was complete or not, right. which it is, luckily. Yes. But it's so cute. It's yeah. spelled out Christmas. Little vintage trees on So top. you think someone just made those? Or do no. you think someone like bought, like they came like that? No, I, one of these has a sticker on it. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I don't think they made them. No? Okay. No. Well, but, cool. And I found another listing for it. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a sticker. I don't know. What are you going to do? You're going to look through everyone? There's no yeah. sticker on it. I thought it did. No, no sticker. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I found another listing, so I don't think someone made these. They look, they're identical. Yeah. But, yeah. Super cute. Really cool. Yeah. Nice someone's going to love this. Yeah. How much was that? Four dollars. Four dollars. And that was weird, too, because he was like, I asked him how much it was, and he said, each one is 50 cents. So I was like... Did you think I was going to break up the set? Yeah, we can do grab one. Couple. Yeah. That was so weird. I was like, okay. But then he said $4 for all of them. So 
Nice. Pick up, yeah. Nice pickup. Yeah. So I was excited about that. Cool. So then at the last sale that we went to, in the garage they had a ton of clothes, lots of clothes in there, and they had a whole bunch of books. And when I walked over to the books, I saw this magazine laying on top, couldn't believe it, it was a Nintendo Power strategy guide for Paper Mario. <laughs> so I was really excited to see it because I played that game when I was younger, and they're actually re-releasing that game on the Switch. I think it comes out in a couple days, like May 23rd. So I think that might help the value of this strategy guide because the game is the same game. So people cool. want a strategy guide for it. So I was pretty pumped about that. They Don't only... you think it was so random that it was there? Yeah, I thought like, it was with random. All the other books that were there were not... They, it didn't match. Yeah, there was nothing <laughs> video game video related game. there, right? No, yeah. so random. So random, just like sitting there on top. Yeah. Some other people must have looked at it because this is like at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised nobody picked it up. So I was really excited to find that. It was only a dollar and it's already sold and it sold for a really good amount. So I was really excited to find that. Good job. Can't beat it. All right, guys. So today was a great day at some community garage sales. Stacy got something checked off her bolo list. Super excited. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and now we're going to show you what everything is worth. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>